And we're Come back. Run. Hello there, my fellow friends and degenerates. You're drinking vodka, Sasuke? Uh, va uh essentially. Yeah, I've got with me a peach bellini secret escape. Ah, uh, water. Which will not last. And when that you know, this... Sorry, go on. And when this runs out, I have a Coke nearby. So here's the issue. I know my... I know damn well that... Uh, that vodka won't last. So I will... Ha I now have two peach... Um... Ciders. We are not... I'm going to do what we did last time. Oh no, that's fine. This is just for me and killing the things that I have a problem with inside of me. Okay. Are we ready, good sir? God, I hope so. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. I've been recording for a while now. Oh, I didn't know. <clears throat> Come in! We're not, gonna, we're not gonna cook again, yo. Cook again, yo. We're not, we're not gonna do a recap of what happened last time. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know we were doing a recap. Do you remember what we did last time? Uh, we got Painter Bell slaves, um, fathered who approve of us in marriage. Oh, well, you know, you do remember. And then the teacher was a bitch. I think she apologized. She didn't. Oh, okay. I, that's why I said think. She was not very happy about us be about people wanting us to stay. But regardless, I, I believe I believe this is the uh, the, the, the swimsuit chapter. Konnichiwa, what are you two doing together? Uh, fuck! Konnichiwa, what are you two doing together? Oh, the wife who made bread? Sure. Sure, now? Hmm. How okay, wait a minute, I'll turn off the AC. How long is it? Why'd you say, hmm? When yes is high, H A I. I don't know. We've we've established already that they won't. We don't get exact translations. Yeah, you're right. Cause well, it could be exact. Because like, from what I'm picking up with my studies of Japanese, and I realize I'm suck dick at learning it, but I'm trying. Is that one word will have dip several different meanings behind it? No, there are moments where they used their words that definitely didn't mean what they wrote in. I mean, where the where the voice actor said something that they didn't translate. Okay, yeah, that's I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You've turned on your air conditioning already. But I'll turn it on at eighty degrees if I want to. I hate the heat. Yeah, it's hot, don't you think? 80 degrees? That's hot for here. Well, no, it's probably cool for you. Well, our high, they're in our, you know, 100, so. That's right. When was the last time we recorded? Like, three weeks ago? Hold on, let me... Oh, uh, I took my A plus the 9th. So yeah, it's been over a couple weeks. I would check the last recording, the last, the last video file, but I don't want to. Huh? Really? I feel like I'm sweating a bit. I grabbed my shirt collar and found some air in it. Yeah. I stayed in long. Well, that's where you fucked up. I stayed in long sleeves when everyone else changed over, but I had a short sleeve shirt oh. prepared right after. Turns out I needed it.
Oh, right. Oh, but fuck me. Oh, that's right. I think men and women have different temperatures where they feel comfortable. Uh. Yeah, in offices and such, women tend to get cold more easily when the AC is running. Because they're twigs. Well, of course you haven't. You lived the, the pampered life where you're not expected to get a job. For some reason, I thought that was aimed towards me, not and you. then I remembered that you're talking to Rize. I was like, oh. Why would that be targeted towards you when you didn't even say anything? Tops, you almost had a fucking mental breakdown at least three times this week. <laughs> so I'm not banging on all six cylinders. I'm not sure. I'd say I'm not sure. I'd say it would cause trouble, but it's something to keep in mind. Dude, that was safe. Uh, I was so going to record last night, and then I sat down on my bed for a minute. Well, I sat down in the bed. I was like, which bed? Your actual bed or your futon? Yeah, the, the office bed. Okay. I sat down on it. I was like, I was like. It's not happening. I'm not recording tonight. <laughs> I... Dude, I fucking... Through... The power of God, I need to force out a session tomorrow. Once I get home from work. Which is gonna be... A little rough, because I don't know when I'm getting home. Oh, God. I could either be... Graced by God, and leave on time at midnight. Or... Not. You never know. Hold on. Okay, no, it fixed itself. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's... it's... I wish I could be graced with God and actually not lose my mental sanity, but, you know, that's been long gone. When men... What? Okay, that's... Sorry, my br... When men and women meet, huh? Koi? Koi? Huh. I haven't learned that word. Uh. Rise san's face went curiously red at, Chiho wor at Chiho's words. <laughs> Chiho seemed embarrassed by her comment, too. What a strange reaction. Is love really that strange? I, I see. They shook their heads vehemently. That too was a bizarre reaction. Did the exchange of silent glance? Oh fuck! Shit. On the day of our victory celebration, I had been surprised to see everyone fighting. Was that still going on? Maybe. It's definitely hot outside. Hey, did you hear that black chick that got shot four times? Nope. So. Here's a little rundown for you. Ignore everybody on Twitter, they're fucking stupid. We live in a clown world here, Topsy. So basically, this 16-year-old black chick, I'm saying that because that's what sparked this whole stupid shit. This 16-year-old black chick was stabbing another girl, and someone called the police. The cop said, put the knife down. And she just ran immediately towards another black chick in pink and brought the knife back to shank. To shank this bitch. And he plugged four rounds into her and she died. I believe either, um, 
on scene or all the way on the way to the hospital and everyone's in a fucking ride about it it's like no <laughs> he did his job no that's what i that's what i heard about a, was a, when the, a, uh... a taser a, a ta so a taser's not always effective well, the last one I heard about was when the woman, when that one cop meant to tase the guy and instead shot him. Oh, the spicy taser incident. I don't know how you fucked that one up. I feel like that could have been circumvented. Yeah, that, I feel like that could be circumvented by more training. Perfectly. She, she was I, a 20 I, year veteran. How do you fuck? Okay, I didn't know she was a 20 year old veteran, but still. Training you if you lack on your training you get lackadaisy, but yeah, this incident is just like the dude had all the rights because There's a video it was a life-threatening situation. There's a video a cop did where he like showed like This is your short. This is your non-dominant which was the taser and he put it where the taser goes This is your dominant which was the hand which was you know the, the Glock or whatever And he put right. it where that goes. He's like there's a weight difference How can you mess this up? You oh, should yeah. know what the difference is. No, you really should. But I, I get like with adrenaline dumping. I don't even know if there was a situation that guaranteed that like needed adrenaline being dumped. I mean, even then, like he was running away from her. So why would why would your instinct be to oh I'm gonna go for my gun? Your instinct should be taser. Oh, apparently it was because she said taser, taser, taser. <laughs> <laughs> taser, taser, taser! Oh god, I got shot! So she knew what she was reaching, she knew what she wanted, she just didn't grab it. <laughs> Poor lass. Nope. Oh, did you hear about that, um, there was another incident that happened to... Where, like, the police... Pulled over... A, um, I, a lieutenant. I heard about this one, actually I saw the video. And the funny thing is, like I, like I found out about it later. I'm afraid you Saturday. should be. Right? No. Like, he, <laughs> oh my god. So I found out later that the um that the cop that did that got terminated immediately, and then the lieutenant is suing the cop himself, not the force, the cop that did that. Sure. And I was like, that's fucking hilarious. He's not a cop now, too, so he shouldn't get any of that, that bullshit protection the cop you would get. He's not. You know how it is, like, when the, the police unions show up and they're like, Oh, we, get, we, we stand by this officer, we can't have any disciplinary action. What, oh, yeah, what that's they, why they have the What internal, they did was right. That's why they have the Internal Affairs Unit, and everyone fucking hates every... I've been told by my, um, by my college professor, who was an LAPD uh, detective... That if you become internal affairs, everyone hates you. And I believe it. Because your job is to snitch on your coworkers. I just don't, I just, these people are fucking stupid. Police, the police. Yeah, we live in a, we live in a clown the world. The police are the most well-funded, publicly recognized gang in the world. And you cannot change my mind. Second. Second? Second. Next to who? The military. But the military's not really a gang, though. I mean, the military is more... Mm. At least not... I would say, well, hold on. I would say it's more of a brotherhood. Like, military issues very rarely ever spill out into the public conscious. The police are constantly fucking with the public. Okay, okay, okay. You explain that a little bit better. I'll get, uh, Yep, you're right. I'll go with you on that one. Yeah, uh, I didn't read this yet. I placed a hand on my forehead and looked at the, up at the sky. Despite it being the rainy season, the sky was a deep blue with only a few small clouds floating off in the distance. Says who? Pool. Ah, oh, that sounds nice. I wish I could go in. Yo, same. Shut up! Maybe. Don't worry about it. Well, that too. Okay, it's gonna go in a minute. Of course, I'd be having a class separate from the others. There is no way to let me into the pool with them. 
That's right, they won't be able to see our see our mega chad body. Rise san, you can't swim, right? So you walk it on I know that the mother sandwich and I that's why you dunk your head underneath the water first, and then your body will get acclimated to it faster. Oh, you just dive right on in. I see. I know you're. I know you're. Man. I know you're afraid of cold water, but you you just go <laughs> just go balls deep. I'm deep. not afraid of cold water. No, I'm not afraid of cold water. I'm just oh, go again, y'all. I'm not afraid of cold water. I just go into a shock when the water goes from hot to fucking immediately cold. Good, it's supposed to do that. It wakes you up. And I don't like that because I can't breathe. I'll swim in a cold pool just fine. My body will get acclimated to it. I refuse to take a cold shower. No, it's, it's, spa, it's, you know, it's spa rules. When you, when, you, when you spend like a bunch of time in the sauna, the first thing you gotta do is jump in the, uh, in the pool. Same for a hot tub. Mm. Okay, so funny thing, when I was younger, and I had access to a hot tub, it would always be chilled, and, and it was a bit like dead of winter. Like, hang out in the hot tub for a bit, get out, and then just make a snow angel. I forget what the medical reason, the medical explanation is, is for it. See, like, it flushes the toxins from your bloodstream, something like that? Um, I don't know about that, but I do know that it helps um, with heat strokes. I mean, there's, there's there's a medical like benefit for for the uh, for, for you know getting into cold water after being exposed to hot like to a bunch of heat beyond the uh, the, the heat stroke thing. Uh, I, I can't tell you anything more than that, honestly. Well, I will try and Google it while these two talk. <laughs> Oh, look at my boy Panther Bell. He's so happy. There was a basket on the table filled with baguettes and ball shaped. Oh, excuse me, and ball shaped loaves of bread. I thought. Oh, I haven't heard Panther Bell in a while. I want to hear. Hey, can you replay that? Yeah, I was gonna do it anyways. <laughs> look at him. He's so adorable. Panther Bell was going nuts. I would be too. Fresh bread. Panther Bell still loves bread. I see. Oh, Pantabill, you're so adorable. Okay, hang on. I think I, I found eight medical benefits to cold water. But right now, it wants me to approve my uh, my cookies. Okay. Uh, Roko Sana stroke Pantabill's narrow forehead with a gentle hand. Let's see. <coughs> It boosts your immune system, it gives you a natural high. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it does. Oh, Konomi's here too. Konomi Chan's eyes glisten as she caught sight of the small pots of the table. Fucking hate marmalade. Oh, what did you hear? Marmalade? The fuck? Marmalade is, is the orange spread, right? I think it is. I fucking hate that shit. Yes. Yes, the orange. The, uh, from bitter oranges. I hate that garbage. I don't, actually, I don't like jam in general, but I especially hate marmalade. What about clotted cream? No. Okay. The only thing I want on my bread is butter. Girl, I'm gonna butter your bread. I'm not very picky. I like everything. Oh, hang on. So it gives you a natural high, it improves your blood circulation, that's what I meant about it, about the blood, the flushing your bloodstream and all that. Uh. It increases your libido. Oh. Interesting. It, it burns calories. Interesting. It reduces stress. It produces or reduces? It, it reduces.